This is Life and Art, I'm Dawn Okoro, and today I'm going to tell you how I got my art into TV shows and movies. Some of my paintings will be in a movie called The Invitation. It's a vampire movie and it's in theaters around the world and it's through Sony Pictures. I'm on my way to the theater to see The Invitation. I know that um, I'll have a few paintings in there. Um, I know they'll show up on screen, but I don't know for how long or how well they'll be able to see them, but we'll just see how it goes. So I just saw The Invitation and it was a good movie and um, the, the main actress, Natalie Emanuel, uh, she did a really, really good performance. Um, I did see my art in the film and it's in the like one of the first scenes. Um, it's, it's a big yellow painting. It's like a, a gallery scene. And um, yeah, it was, a, it was a good shot of it. it was, uh, Natalie was standing with the piece and um, it was cool to see. The main character of a movie works at an art gallery. And so a couple of my um, black and yellow paintings are featured there. These are the paintings that were on set. The one on the left actually made it into the film. They are part of my black and yellow series. Nowadays, I usually shoot my own reference photos, but for these paintings I did a while back, I used reference photos from photographer Shane Gordon. I don't have a screenshot yet, but here are some photos from the set. The production designer, Felicity Jane Abbott, shared these photos with me. Several artists have asked me how do they get their work into TV or film productions. When a production designer needs artwork for their production, one of the most common ways is that they'll have someone in their own art department create whatever it is they need. Or the production team may commission an artist from outside to make the work. Another way they get art is just by renting the physical piece. And in that case, if the work is not in town, then the work would have to be shipped there, shipped to wherever the production is, and also there would be the issue of insurance, just making sure that the art is protected if anything were to happen with it. So that and so that could be a bit more costly. And one of the most common ways production teams get artwork is by licensing the right to use existing artwork. Some production designers will have a relationship with a gallery, so Whenever they need artwork, they can reach out to that gallery. Hey, we're looking for this. Um, do you do you have any artists with this kind of work? Or you know, show show us what you have. And um, I have had um, situations where a gallery has hooked me up with that kind of opportunity as well. Another way production teams find artwork is through art agencies, and um, there are agencies just for that. And that agency will have a roster of artists that they work with. And also um, some production designers will reach out to artists directly. Maybe there's an artist, the artist that they've been following and then they'll just reach out and um, you know, just let, let them know that they have this movie or TV show in production and um, they'll ask if um, they can use some of the artist's work. A few production designers have asked to use my work for a scene because my paintings just happen to fit um, whatever look or feel they were going for. For the invitation, I sent the production designer a list of paintings and they picked the ones they wanted to use. The movie was shot in Budapest, but I didn't have to ship my work there. Most art departments will just print out the painting that they want to use so they can make it whatever size they need. And then um, they typically destroy the print um, when the filming wraps up. So after we did some paperwork, then I sent them uh, some high-res JPEGs and they were able to print them out for whatever size they needed. And Sony did pay me a fee to have my work in the film. I did get a chance to meet the star of the film, Natalie Emanuel. She came to my art opening at Maddox Gallery in London earlier this year. This was a few months after the movie had already been shot. And uh, she said she, she encouraged the production team to feature the work of black artists. And I really appreciate that. I think that's great. Please let me talk to you. Earlier this year, my art was on several episodes of Law & Order Organized Crime Season 2. The art department at Law & Order was looking for art for a New York gallery scene. One of the characters in the show, Cassandra, played by Jennifer Beals, was a gallery owner and she specialized in black art. The show's writer, Eric Haywood, said on Instagram, quote, I specifically wanted the gallery filled with the works of some real-life black artists rather than have the show's art department create some fictional ones, end quote. 
and I'm gonna show you some set photos that he posted on Instagram. The paintings of mine they chose are from my Punk Noir series. The production team let me know that my paintings would be on several episodes, but I was really shocked when I first saw my art on the show because it was just, what happened was really more than what I expected. Don Okora's effacement. What do you think? Brilliant. That's Jennifer Beals and Ron Cephas Jones. When I watched the episode and heard Jennifer say my name and show my painting, um, I almost screamed. Um, I was not expecting my name to be part of the script. Don Okora's effacement. Usually in these situations, the art is only shown on the screen for a few seconds and the audience usually won't even know who the artist is. So for me, that was a really big deal to have my name set on the episode. And when I posted about it on Instagram, Jennifer Beals even commented on my post. She said, your work is amazing. We were all in awe. And I, I really appreciate that shout out. I'll talk to you. So my art ended up being in, I think five episodes of the show. Here's another photo from the set. The writer, Nicole Hannah-Jones was a guest on the episode. I'm in. A while back, four of my paintings were on an episode of First Wives Club on BET, and that came about just like the other projects. Someone reached out wanting to feature some of my work. In addition to TV and movies, with streaming platforms uh, being so popular right now, with there being so many streaming platforms, there are always art departments looking for artwork to put on these shows and in these movies. So if you're an artist who would like to get your art onto a TV show or a movie set, it's really just a matter of having the art that the production team needs at that time. And they need to know that you exist. They need to know that your art exists. And more people learn that your art exists when you just put it out in the world, um, show it, post it, get it out there the best way, the best way that you can. Thank you so much for joining me for Life and Art. If you would like to support, um, be sure to subscribe to this channel, like this video, follow me on social media. You can purchase my work through Maddox Gallery.